Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play the Sims 3 Lepacy Challenge. So, in the last episode, we started off last episode with Jay, Lewis, and Roxy, and now Rose, which is their new Simbot that lives with them. Um, and then we switched halfway through the episode over to Soon Young and Aaron, who were literally at the gym all day long and not taking care of their son, Leon. I'm gonna assume that a babysitter came over, um, which I always hope this is the case because that would be bad if they left him alone all day long. Um, and Kylie and Michael have decided that they are having another baby. I have a feeling this has something to do with the fact that Kylie realizes she is going to be an elder soon and she realizes that she can't have children when she's an elder or something along those lines i i would assume it has something to do with age because they are popping babies out left right and center whereas people like amir who and molly who are very financially stable like these two I swear to God, Kayla is going to have the best upbringing ever. Um, she's going to have all the attention. She's going to have lots of gifts and her parents are both doctors. So she's really going to have a great upbringing. She's going to be very spoiled, I would I would guess. So uh, people like Kayla only, you know, she's like an only child right now. As, as it is right now, they might, story progression might push them to have more kids in the future. Um, but I guess we'll have to see, right? I think also Lewis and Jade are gonna have a baby soon, um, which is interesting that all these babies are popping out right now, right? Like, all of our all of our Generation Two Sims are deciding to have babies at the same time. It's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna have Aaron take care of his son, just put him in the crib once he's done eating, because Leon is screaming at the top of his lungs. Then I'll have Soon Young take care of dinner. She can clean up the countertop and just clean up after dinner and then have her go and take a shower Aaron is exhausted however I want him to go in the garage and invent just a teeny tiny little bit because oh Roderick and Isabel are getting married okay well um I'm gonna <laughs> after tonight I'm gonna switch back over to Roderick uh I'm gonna switch back over to Kylie no <laughs> not Kylie Isabel I mean Kylie's household yes but Isabel who lives with Kylie because I want to throw them a wedding. I don't want the game to like push them to have a wedding themselves. I feel like we should just have a tiny little ceremony um, because it doesn't seem like they are. Would it, does Isabel seem like she'd ha like big weddings? I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I have a kind of like a way that I think about a minor. Build a minor. Stop the assembly line, your sim wants to make this object in the inventing workbench. Has he even discovered that? How to make that? Make big invention floor. No, he has not even discovered how to make a minor. Okay, well, we're going to switch back over to the Michael and Kylie household just to prevent Isabel from getting married automatically. So I'll see you guys there. Right, so I have just checked in this household. Um, it looks like Isabel is going to change Curtis's diaper, which is super cute. And she also wants to move in with Roderick, which is adorable. Roderick is her baby daddy turned fiance, who she currently does not live with. So that's about the right assessment. Oh, and Kylie's also pregnant, so she's going to be vomiting and that type of thing. Um, probably pretty often. Oh, look at this. Wait, 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 look at this. She has the faithful mood lip because she has no, she has had no flings, Ayana. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but about five episodes ago, when we switched over to Ayana, she had a whole fucking assortment of men that she was romantically interested with. It was insane how many men that she had. Oh, it looks like Kylie's like stuck. So I'm going to reset her really quickly because she's just sitting there. And I put re Reese reset recess stim instead of reset sim because i just am the smartest person in the universe there we go okay so she's tired now um i'm gonna have isabel continue making waffles kylie can just wait for those waffles to be done uh oh i forgot that uh riley aged up as well so i'm gonna have her come upstairs and change his diaper Does, is he a redhead wait a second riley is a redhead where did he get red hair from because his dad has black hair and his mom has blonde hair he is a wild card child i think i think the game gave him something like right in the middle because 
for some reason he has red hair which is very interesting to me um i mean i can see why roderick has or curtis has red hair because roderick has red hair i keep calling curtis roderick and it is actually a problem it is actually becoming a problem um it's curtis's birthday which is nice so happy birthday curtis we can make him a little birthday cake tonight speaking of which these two look like they could be brothers do they not like it's it's crazy um okay so we're gonna have kylie oh these guys actually are not doing bad financially i'm shook because they are always like down many many funds so it's interesting to me that they are finally uh financially sound it appears are you done with those waffles yet isabel what's going on over here what is going on? Oh, she actually didn't burn them. Good job. I think that's the first meal that she's like ever made. So I'm actually kind of shook that she didn't burn them. Good job. Okay. What are you doing? He's sleeping in his daughter's bed for some reason. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more to Riley's room because Riley, we have more money for Riley now. I only threw Riley in like the shitty room because he, uh, he, we didn't have enough money to like buy him a really nice room and he was the last born so i'm sorry but you just got a shitty room because i we had no money i don't know where they're planning on putting this last baby um and by them i mean kylie and michael i they just don't have any room in this house like that's that's it that's i don't really have anything else to say just plain and simple they don't have any more room in this house i'm thinking about Isabel and Roderick moving in together. Well, they're gonna move in together because how the fuck else would would Kylie and Michael be able to put another baby anywhere? They don't have enough room in this tiny, tiny little place. So she'll, she'll have to move out. She doesn't really have any other choice. And then uh, they're gonna have to get their own house together. Oh, I hope Roderick has money because if he doesn't, then they are going to literally move on to an empty lot. And I'm gonna put down, them down a toilet uh a bath a a shower not a bath a, sh a shower a crib and a bed and that's like all they'll get because we just they don't have money um plain and simple they only have 802 simoleons and we have to support several children uh in this household so it's gonna be kind of a problem i know i'm buying like kind of unnecessary things right now when i could actually be saving for kylie's move out but i mean these kids gotta have something to do like they gotta play with something and honestly this room is so plain over here that i think they need something to do so they aren't just like always screaming on the floor because if they aren't doing anything then the toddlers will just sit there and scream and scream and scream just like a toddler in real life man just like an irl toddler all right so i guess riley is going to use curtis's potty chair which is fine i guess i don't it doesn't really bother me um i'm going to have him come down and teach riley how to walk one because he wants to and two because he actually needs to get that done i like to have my toddlers learn their skills although sometimes it's not like just it's just not ideal because i, I can't play like five households at the same time who is calling your phone it's probably roderick guarantee guarantee oh it's hard with clay that fucking creep that married ayana oh. creepy how about you come over and teach curtis how to walk because he's aging up today oh michael got a promotion for listening uh because he's listening to a logic tab cast right now so it kind of passively like gave him a promotion uh we're gonna have kylie try and clean up his house a tiny little bit don't clean that up like that just put it away put away leftovers there you go and then we're gonna have her go over to the knack household you guys already know what i'm about to have her do she is going to go and find a case so that we can actually support these babies <laughs> that we have it looks like isabel has oh my god the game wants me to give roderick a makeover which is so funny because that's Isabel's baby daddy that she's like engaged to right now. Wow, that is actually really funny that the game gave her that. Okay, I'm gonna go have her go use the toilet, have her head down to the salon and perform that makeover. And then when she's finished with it, she can just come back home and teach Roderick how to uh, walk some more. Not Roderick. Oh my god, I keep calling him Roderick. Curtis, his name is Curtis, guys. I'm so sorry that I keep... Oh, eat at the bistro. I forget that she had, she's like currently in the middle of a mission, uh, or not a mission, a case. It's oh, 11 to 11. All right, we gotta wait an hour, I guess. I'll have her go down to the, to the town plaza 
to wait for this bistro to open be asked for money finally i have a job now i can stop wearing these rags and invest in a quality wardrobe what is his job what let me look he, oh he's in the military that's actually a pretty good job I, I thought the game was gonna give him like a fucking burglar or something i don't know he doesn't seem like he would have that great of a job roderick here he is we can finally get a good look at his facial features um sometimes when they are teenagers they kind of look butterfaced so this will kind of be like definitively what we give him he needs a new hairstyle for sure he has like this emo hair from the sims 3 store and i am not about it and he needs a makeover anyway because if he's going to be marrying isabel you know what i mean like he needs it i do remember him being very handsome let's get this hair out of his face and see if that was a correct judgment oh yeah he is definitely a handsome sim for sure story progression or whoever spawned him in this world he might actually be you know what i think he's a townie's child um for sure because how the fuck would he be this good looking you know what I mean? He's got to be a child of a townie, I would think. I'm not sure if I should give him a facial hair or not. I don't know if I'm digging it on him. I like this on him a lot, um, but it, it's very reminiscent of Aaron to me. Doesn't this, doesn't this kind of remind you of Aaron? Just like the facial hair and stuff? I don't know. Kind of re reminds me of Aaron just a, a tiny little bit. Oh, this is... Oh my god, he's such a handsome guy. Holy shit. And his eyebrows are so nice too. They must be custom eyebrows, right? Is he, is he using CC eyebrows? Why do I not see any eyebrows checked? Just where is he getting these eyebrows from? Like what? It doesn't say what eyebrows those are. Oh, they're these ones. Okay, he can keep them. I just was curious of what the fuck they were. I was, I was kind of. Did I exit that out? Really? Oh, I exited the thing out that tells you what you gotta do. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna look back in this video really quickly. Hold on, guys. Okay, so let me tell you guys what I just did. So I went back in the video. I obviously stopped recording. I went back in the video and I looked at what he wanted. So he wanted one new everyday wear. He wanted two outfits of formal wear, which I'm going to assume I'm gonna I'm gonna interpret this as him saying I want one outfit for my wedding and I want one outfit just to have because he wants two new formal wears which is really strange you think he'd want two everyday wears but no he wants two formal wears he wants a new accessory which we can maybe put like an earring or something on him or like a chain I might have a chain I don't know um and then he wants two athletic wears as well so this should be a pretty straightforward makeover, some would, one would think, but here we are. You know, it might be a hard makeover. He is such a good looking guy. Like, I am shook to the core right now. And he also has like, eh, his body. Mm. He has a little bit too much body hair for <laughs> how young he is. I think young adults in this game are probably about 25 years old. So he's so hairy. He's so hairy for being a young gentleman like that um i'm gonna give him less the lesser arm hair and then maybe when he ages up to like i don't know an uh, adult we can graduate him to like having back hair and stuff i'm pretty sure most young adults don't have like back hair and arm hair and a, a thick woolly chest hair like that so okay we'll give him the light one you know what no we're gonna give him just like a happy trail and then when he ages up to an adult, if I remember, um, I'll give him like a thicker chest of hair because it just doesn't make any sense that he would have so much hair on his body when he's so young. This outfit is a hot mess. Oh my god, I'm glad he- I'm glad- I would have given him a makeover anyway, to be honest with you guys, because if he's gonna be like a main storyline sim, then we probably definitely should give him a makeover. Um, it's weird to me because Isabel- who's giving him a makeover you know literally as we speak is a third generation sim but you wouldn't know that would you because she literally is like she's you know she's a young adult already you know what i mean she feels like she's from generation two but she's actually from generation three so it's it's a very strange feeling to me um because she's supposed to be a late night sim like, I was supposed to use her for late night because the third generation, I mean, of course, World Adventures came out first and then 
so that would be generation two and then generation three is supposed to be ambitions but as you guys know i don't like world adventures so i lumped together world adventures with ambitions and i kind of did them one in the same which i like that way honestly because um world adventures like i said this in the last episode but you can't be a self-employed tomb raider you know what i mean you have to have kind of a side hustle in order to pay for going through all those tombs in in that thing so or things like that so it's um probably for the best that i lumped them together honestly also I'm, I know I'm doing this makeover and not really talking much about it, but I did so good with this everyday attire. Hold on, let me, let me bring it back up just so I can tell you my thoughts here really quickly. Um, he is a good looking guy. Is he not? I don't know. I think he's so good looking. I know the pants are a little strange because his underwear is showing, but also they're a little bit too short at the end. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just his style. He doesn't seem like he'd be much of a military type of guy to me, um, but then again, like any, literally anyone can join the military, so I guess I shouldn't say that. It doesn't really make much sense. Anyway, we're going to give him a wedding outfit, which is going to be this. I literally always use this. This is like my go-to. Um, we're going to make it, the wedding can be like a light light color we're probably gonna have the wedding for them in the next episode regardless of the day of the week typically as you guys know i typically only do weddings on weekends so that the whole family can come and i don't have to take like five days off for uh for all my sims combined so i'm gonna just throw it in the next episode because i don't want to be sitting here waiting for you know on the on the wolf uh michael and kylie's household as much as i love michael and kylie as much as i love their household um because there is so much to do you know you know what's kind of interesting you can compare kylie and michael's household and then compare that to roxy's household where we're literally sitting there just waiting for her to pass away like it's such a difference in things to do because when i go over to kylie and michael's household or when i'm when i'm playing them i'm like okay so we gotta teach the babies how to walk and then we gotta we gotta have kylie go and do some detective work so we can make some money and then michael has to go to work at like 4 a.m so it, there's definitely so so much to do um in kylie and michael's household and i really enjoy that i like i like how much there is to do because it keeps it fresh like I, we were literally last episode we were just sitting there waiting for roxy to pass away and it actually didn't end up happening so okay i'm gonna i know it says that don't do sleepwear um if i do his sleepwear is he gonna get angry I mean, it's his girlfriend. He can't get angry at her. Um, although he actually can. He like he legit will get angry and mad that she touched his sleeper. I guess. I'm not. I don't think you're supposed to do every outfit. Um, I think it's similar to you know how like sometimes if I delete too many items with Soon Young, then the game will kind of like yell at me, or it'll or the people will be like, "That's not what I asked for." I think it's gonna be the same thing here. If I if I touch too many of his outfits, he's gonna be like, "I didn't ask you to do that." So anyway, I gave him new everyday wear. He only wants one outfit. I'm sorry if like I turn away from my turn away from my mic and then. I'm like my voice like kind of gets quiet it's because I'm turning my head towards my other monitor um he wants a new everyday who wants two uh, athletic wears Jesus how why would anyone need two athletic wears I guess he is in the military so he'll probably be heading to the gym quite often but what the fuck like why just wear the same fucking athletic wear no one gives a fuck what you're wearing to the gym and no one literally no one thinks about their outfit before they go to the gym <sighs> ran over okay ran over it <laughs> um i'm gonna make these shoes I, I don't know why but red's really his color like i keep giving him red stuff i don't know i like it he looks good in red all right let's change his top and let's see basketball or this is a baseball shirt i'm pretty sure i think it is base yeah it's baseball um, and then we're gonna give him, like, these type of pants. Although this outfit kind of looks tragic. It looks slightly tragic. I'll just give him these shorts. I don't even know what these are from. I think these are from the Sims 3 store? Question mark? 
back, I'm fairly certain. I think they're supposed to be swim trunks, but obviously this is for his uh, athletic outfit, so it doesn't matter at all. I will make it like that. I probably should change the shoes from red to blue, so I'm gonna do that because I didn't initially intend to give him a blue outfit. It kind of just happened when I started putting it all together. Okay, and last but not least, we have to do the swimwear, which he didn't even ask me to do. Um, oh, this is perfectly fine. Okay, I guess I don't have to touch it. So let's just make sure I did everything. So I gave him one outfit of everyday wear. Let me move this this screenshot I took in my video. Um, he wanted one new everyday wear, which I did. At my his everyday wear, I love it. I think he looks so cute. And then he wants two outfits of formal attire which i did as well and they both look fantastic i like one more than the other and it's up to you guys to figure out which one i like more than the other um and then i gave him sleepwear which he which i wasn't supposed to do but it's okay and then i gave him two outfits of athletic wear and he also wanted a new accessory and the new accessory quote unquote was the glasses that i gave him for his everyday wear and that he wanted the new hairstyle okay so we are all set let me exit out of this screenshot i took the video don't really need it anymore um that is so perfect that the game had roderick go to is about seven simoleons oh he likes it um a new higher wardrobe do we only make 36 simoleons from that oh nine ninety six. 96 what the fuck did he like it or not i can't oh hello roderick oh he looks so cute look at his little face he actually turned towards isabel which is strange because they, they tend to never do that. All right, so there we go. We're gonna have Isabel head back home and we're going to have her go and teach Curtis how to walk because he needs to learn how to do that because his birthday is actually tonight. Um, just like how Michael is teaching Riley, uh, Isabel needs to teach Curtis how to do his to do his skills. All right, so it is time for Kylie to go and eat at the bistro. I know she's not even hungry at all. This is gonna cost her fifty simoleons. Is this really worth it? Like fifty simoleons to go and eat in here. We are already broke as is, and the game wants me to have Isabel, Kylie, sorry, go over and eat at the bistro. Just they love to waste my money. She is so pretty how did how how did she exist like i can't believe michael scored so fucking good with her obviously the good genetic isabel looks like a spitting image of michael we can't even lie like they look so michael michael and isabel dude they just they look like twins they really kylie's uh, kylie's genetics just like yeeted themselves they were like nope i'm out i'm out of here all right so kylie's at the bistro doing her job it looks like she's nauseous from being her pregnancy which the progression told us in the last episode would be happening um what are you doing just teaching him how to walk yes 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 hopefully this is it for her i think she should be done after she eats she's stuffed as well because i had her eat at the bistro did that not count the fuck oh there we go i was gonna say uh excuse me do i have to do that again i have to waste 50 simoleons simul again <laughs> kylie has earned the nauseous moodle and job experience wow that's something right there oh newton baker is this oh no, that's not newton baker oh newton baker's the one we're doing this mission for newton baker is guadalupe's husband i don't know if you guys remember that um stoop around what are you doing just go ask him jesus christ there we go okay hello what are you doing uh hello there we go super cute snoop for clues okay so this will actually be the first time wait no did guadalupe move i don't think she did i think this is the original house we moved to twinbrook i'm pretty sure this is the house that i put her in yeah i'm fairly certain at least all right let's go oh riley learned how to walk good job michael damn that was fast wasn't it he's like i've done this once with isabel did he even teach isabel how to walk i don't think so I think she got absent-minded when she aged up from a toddler to a child and she had not learned any of her skills. I'm fairly certain. Um, okay, Riley needs to go learn how to use the potty chair. So I'm going to have Michael bring up Riley and teach him 
And then she's going to snoop for clues at Newton Baker's house. And she probably is going to vomit on their front doorstep. Oh, is this Jacob? Jacob is one of Guadalupe's sons, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know why she got this hairstyle. She also needs an outfit change, but I feel like she isn't even in this, the main storyline anymore. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, so she's going to throw up right now. Is she going to throw up? nope the game isn't gonna have her oh there we go and she's going to vomit inside the house are you serious she's vomiting inside the house no she isn't okay oh now she's throwing up outside the fucking house all right yeah just throw up on their front lawn i'm sure they don't care at all um all right so curtis went in his diaper, which is sad but it's okay I think Michael potty trains Riley, so that should be fine. I'm gonna have him empty that and come downstairs and we can serve up some spaghetti for dinner. I guess it's dinner. It's not even a late lunch. I don't even think they ate lunch today. I think they just went straight through the day. I mean, Kylie did because she has work to do michael has ghost work and yeah he has like a bunch of jobs to do last time we fucking did these jobs it took like literally eight hours to do one of the jobs because it just was not working out very well um so i'm gonna have her come over and dust her prints at this person's house i don't know who this is but we will break into the home actually we can probably literally just ring their ring their front doorbell i'm sure they don't care because there's like a bunch of people that'd be bad if like we broke into the house where there was people <laughs> there <laughs> that would be so fucking awkward oh my god just ring the doorbell please thank you curtis just learned how to walk good job curtis well he learned one of his skills he didn't learn how to talk i hope he still ages up okay um he might kind of be fucked up why did you not go and eat that pasta you made it's nice quality too and he just like literally just walked past it he made it walked past it and dipped interesting okay well you can feed curtis it is he's gonna age up very very soon um i'm gonna ignore that call it's probably from roderick honestly Okay, Kylie's just broken. Not she didn't break in. She <laughs> has to walk in, and now she's just sitting on their on their couch and watching television. All right, so we're gonna dust for prints. Hopefully, no one yells at her. I don't think they are, but you know what? You never know. You never know how these people are gonna react. Oh, she's pregnant! Congrats! You found out just as you were dusting for prints, and now you interrupted your. You're dusting for prints. Come on, Kylie. Get it together, girl. Get it together. Oh, we can't dust for prints when he's using the fucking oven. Jesus. Okay, well, that was a pretty... That was a given. Take bottle. Oh, good good big sister, Isabel. Oh, it's Curtis's birthday. He's just gonna age up right on the floor. Very nice. Alright, I'm gonna have you come over here. Why does he keep insist on sleeping in Isabel's bed? I'm so confused. He keeps doing it, like, every second. Due to his modest development, he got photographer's eye. He's gonna be a clone of Lewis, guarantee. Gonna be a clone of Lewis. Also, Michael is dead tired and he has to go to work. So, I'm gonna have him sleep for like a few more hours and then we'll have him um, head out to go to do his work. Okay, so Riley is in Curtis's room. I'm gonna change his room a little bit. Um, obviously, he doesn't need like baby stuff anymore, so we'll get rid of this and we'll give the potty chair, the used fucking potty chair, to Riley because he needs it, of course. We can barely afford to buy a bed for little Curtis's room. I'm sorry, Curtis, you're not gonna have a very nice bed. You're probably gonna be sleeping for most of your of your child life because. This bed I gave him is garbage, and I know it is. We just don't have any other options. Oh my god, we have one simoleon. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, he looks cute. He grew up to be a cute kid. Let's give him a ma- Oh, I didn't mean to hit basic. I meant to hit advanced. Okay. We're gonna give little Curtis a makeover. All right. So this is what Curtis ended up looking like as a child. Um, I think he got- I don't know whose nose this is. This would appear to be- isabelle's like mouth shape and he also got the hooded eyes that date back all the way to hank it's so crazy to me the genetics in sims 3 always 
astound me because if you were to do the same experiment in sims 4 um i'm pretty sure the eye shape would be lost within like one generation uh kayla little simsy did this experiment she was not really an experiment you know but like she she did the same test where she was trying to see how long um malcolm langrab's like genetics would go through the family uh and she because she does not like like the joke is that she does not like malcolm langrab but she was trying to give him a life i i suppose i don't know quite the the point of the video but it was very entertaining to watch don't get me wrong um and she was very interested with how the genetics work in sims th uh, sims 4 <clears throat> because malcolm langrab's genetics like just thanos snapped themselves within like one generation it was it was very in a very interesting video to watch um but in sims 3 the genetics stay for generations and generations which i love that i think that there is just a big familial aspect to sims 3 that just just it captures it but it it captures it in a way that you wouldn't even realize it like just generations did did uh, a great a great thing for 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 family play in the sims 3 um but even before generations even when not having generations i just feel like my families are so in entwined in one another and like connected even we have a giant family we have a ginormous family like no one can dispute that we have from the fucking atlantic ocean to the pacific like we have a giant family and somehow some way my sims are all still together so it's uh it's very interesting for sure how how it works um it looks like isabel is working out she taught curtis how to walk and now she's just in the living room you know working her little body out i'm gonna have her go put away the those leftovers and have her go and take a shower and probably head up to bed to go to sleep she only had one one job today which is kind of sad she needs the money man i don't think it's very easy to work as a stylist in twinbrook because it appears that not a lot of sims want makeovers um in this town where oh we did this for prince up here let's go up there and hopefully no one catches her they might yell at her if they catch her i don't, I don't know no one's yelled at her yet and we literally just dusted for prince like in front of everyone no he just walked right past us i guess he doesn't care um delilah aged up she got the same exact hair as guadalupe which makes her look exactly like her mother it's very weird to me and she got a job at the uh music career i think so it's interesting also um mason her t who is supposed to be her twin brother uh doesn't age up at the same time as her sorry i was reading that <laughs> you've been framed i was like what the fuck i've never gotten this i don't think we've ever done this this mission before which is interesting oh kylie has nine days till she ages up michael has seven i don't like that at all okay we're gonna have him go and over go over to the medical facility and investigate the paranormal activity these ones are extremely easy to do you literally walk in the, the medical facility and it's like a rabbit hole it's so fucking easy don't make the bed just no go put riley in the crib go put riley in the crib go put riley in the crib no don't go downstairs i didn't say to go downstairs go back upstairs i hate this these i hate the stairs i hate it i hate it i hate it with a passion with a burning fucking passion i go pick him up go put him in the crib there we go i'm sorry you woke up i'm sorry Soon Young and Aaron have been arm in arm. Did Soon Young age up? Why does she have her different hair? I'm confused. Anyway, you can go to sleep. Come here. Go to sleep. There we go. Um, okay, so can you tell this person they've been framed so that we can, so you can come home and go to sleep because you are dead tired. Uh, Michael seems to be doing decent right now. I don't think he's doing that bad. This is a pretty house. It reminds me of the 19 kids in Counting House. <laughs> they have like a ginormous house that to house all their kids oh yay okay that was a very long detective case um she's level seven though kylie has been conferred the new title of licensed snoop by the twin brook town council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce the training is paying off and you're able to sidle up to crooks before they can think twice you're dealing with the heavy hitters now 
so it may be time to get a little dirty to clean this city up. You've been assured that the boys in blue will look the other way, so get to work. I'm gonna send her up to bed, by the way. Um, and like the shadow in the underbelly of society, Kylie Wolf has adapted to the mean streets with the ability to sneak around unnoticed. And okay, so Mary Kay is curious to hear about my double cross and how my client treated the bistro's customers, including me, with food poisoning. Holy fuck, she got food poisoning. Mary Kay's guarantees that vengeance will be had and all will be set straight. In the meantime, Mary Kay's made caloric filled amends with a delicious plate of chow. Case closed, if you asked me. And oh, Soon Young and Aaron are having another baby. Congrats, you two. And Michael got a promotion too. Oh my god. It doesn't even matter though because. Um, oh, he's still on the clock, but apparently the other. Apparently the ghosts for the other case we had just disappeared so anyway um michael got promoted despite your fancy tools and modern day ghost hunting gadgets you only need your voice and charm to convince a long lost soul to enter the other your classic technique and smooth operating almost guarantee your customers a clean paranormal removal for other occasions you're upgraded ban banshee banish banish banisher I can't say that word fast. Ban Banshee Banis Banisher. Ban Banshee Banished. I can't. It's so hard to do. Um, does just fine. Michael Wolf has received an upgraded Banshee Banish Banisher. <laughs> it's upgraded spirit induction system. Will not only enable you to banish all ghosts much faster, it will allow you to banish all nearby spirits in one fell swoop. Alright. Nice. Oh, and oh my god, Ayana had a girl named Lindsay how cute we'll have to go look at them tomorrow morning but i'm going to pick up in the morning time okay so it is now morning time it's also about 30 minutes um after i recorded that last part you saw because i was actually fixing up the wedding lot for kyle isabel for isabel <laughs> so it is over here i know this is a really weird placement of it um i had to go into world editor which is not something i like to do because when you start placing lots down using world editor uh like for example i had i had the lot originally placed right here but because of this railroad right here half of the lot was inside of the railroad track and it was so strange so um we have the lot placed down let me make sure curtis is okay before i uh show you guys what's going on because i want to make sure he gets to school and everything just fine so yeah he's fine right now um so let's go over and i'll show you guys what the wedding lot looks like oh my god let me wake her up too and get her all situated oh my god kylie's up too why is everyone up right now go get some waffles you can go back to bed because you have no cases right now so just go to sleep everyone just go back to sleep it's okay it's okay riley's fine and he's gonna go into cyber i think but that's that's okay all right so we're gonna go over to the park i haven't named it yet it literally has a blank name because oops um so this is the lot now i know what you guys are gonna say this is the lot this is so mediocre uh and that's because mind you I don't have all the expansions installed, uh, and this lot used quite a few expansions, I think. Like, for example, by the way, this is installed from The Sims Resource. Um, I, I can't tell you who, who made it because, unfortunately, unlike the wedding lot we used before the description, there's nothing. What should we name it? Let's name it Yellow, Yellow Garden, Secret Garden. Should we name it Secret Garden? <laughs> Secret Garden Wedding wedding secret garden weddings <laughs> i don't know um as long as it has a name it's so stupid that is literally such a stupid name for a lot i'm sorry that it's so stupid okay so um i had to literally go flower by flower and replace everything literally everything had to get replaced uh because all my all these flowers were messed up there was a divider in the middle of the lot i assume there's supposed to be a fountain right here oh this is supposed to be a heart isn't it yeah um so if some of the flower placements are fucked up you can thank me for that because i i'm not a builder guys i am not a builder um this is super simple there isn't even a stereo here let me change that really quickly there isn't a stereo. How could I do that? What are my sims supposed to listen to at their wedding? 
Ugh, I'm just a mess. Like, I am a flat out mess. I hate building. I hate landscaping. Um, I prefer casts. You know what? Fuck it. I prefer gameplay. I prefer playing the game rather than building and doing cast stuff. Can this load? Hello? Game? There we go. Jesus, it scared me. I thought my game was just like shitting out there. All right, let me move these. Let me make them a little bit more straight because the they're like all curvy and messed up. There's like bare spots right here. It's just like, what the fuck? Okay. I fucked up. I get it, guys. I'm just not a builder, okay? I tried to make it yellow themed because um, I want Isabel's dress to have accents of yellow and Roderick's suit already has some uh, yellow on it. So I'm really trying to make like a yellowish type of wedding. All yellow. As you can see, yellow balloons. We have a little bit of yellow on the archway or whatever it's called. Um, we have all these nice chairs that are got yellow material on them. The tables and chairs have bows and accents of yellow. So anyway, I was going to add a stereo. Also, there isn't going to be much to do on this lot once they get here. So I might add down like a game or something like uh, <laughs> like we did at that beach wedding that Kylie and Michael had. Do you guys remember that? That was absolutely disastrous. That was a disaster wedding. Oh god, that was awful. I don't even want to think back to that time because whew, that gives me some trauma. Oh, we can add this this mill right here. Having this water wheel on your lot reduces the household bills. Damn, I thought they added that in Sims 4, but nah. They have it on Sim in Sims 3 too. This is cute. Oh my god, this is what we should name the lot. We should name it the 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 mill. The mill. <laughs> and like, okay, I don't know if you guys have ever seen um have ever seen Legally Blonde. But in the Broadway version of Legally Blonde, uh, in Oh My God, You Guys, that number, um, wh someone goes, the Old Valley Mill? Oh, sorry, the Old Valley Mall. <laughs> because she's like talking to a dog and she's trying to like decode what the dog is saying. I think my mom's home, which means my dog is like about to start barking her little head off in just one second so i apologize i'm gonna like cut the video if that ends up happening sometimes she does sometimes she doesn't my mom got a brand new car so it's really quiet like you can't even hear it running it's so quiet um so yeah okay i'm just like literally trying to find a color for this that works with a lot yep okay my mom's home give me like one minute okay guys so this is what i have decided on for the law i added a little pond over here um maybe amir will use it <laughs> to like go fishing because he's like level seven or something in fishing it's kind of crazy all right so we're gonna name this something to do with maybe the yellow mill oh okay it's going through like all the landscaping how weird i think the reason why the lot takes so long to load is because of all the landscaping so like when the whole lot is yellow and it has a yellow mill then you know you gotta name it the yellow mail. Okay, so now let's go do Isabel's wedding dress. We're gonna take her into cast here really quickly. We're gonna make her look so pretty. She's gonna be so gorgeous. I'm so excited for this wedding. This has been a long time coming. How? When did she meet Roderick? She must have met him when she was a teenager, right? I think so. Yeah, she definitely met him as a teenager. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain of it. All right, so we're gonna give her a like fairy tale wedding um not wedding <laughs> a fairy tale dress i meant to say oh my god i love this dress on her but it's not it's not wedding material so if it's not wedding material we don't want it no no we don't okay i'm gonna um let's see what can we add let's see let's see let's see uh not add i mean put her in maybe this dress this dress is this wedding a wedding dress or like is this not i don't i honestly literally cannot tell it was a genuine question um okay no we're gonna do if we do anything we're gonna do a white dress and then we'll add like a little accent of yellow like slight yellow is this a wedding dress i'm still confused or is this like a formal i mean i guess anything can be a wedding dress if you want it to <laughs> it looks very wedding-ish i mean it has like kind of like the the little designs on it the uh lacy lacy type of designs okay we're gonna give her these bow shoes i mean who said that isabel was classy no one claimed that isabel was a classy girl so if this isn't a wedding dress that's my defense isabel is not a classy girl i like her hair like this i think i'm gonna leave it you know what no 
most brides have their hair up have you guys noticed that when brides have their weddings they always wear their hair up it's rarely ever down i don't know if that's like because the brides like want it out of their face or or what um i just want isabel to look so pretty and she does look so pretty look at her i'm gonna leave her makeup the way it is because i actually really like it i think it looks super cute and we're gonna go with this hairstyle i think this is gonna be her wedding hairstyle kind of like a messy kind of pretty bun i mean it's still a pretty bun even though it's messy all right so there is her wedding outfit it's a little hint of yellow of course just like the venue the venue is completely covered in yellow um so yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say that's that's her wedding dress it's, it's super pretty i think i like it quite a lot we're gonna have to change her outfit back over what is this style a child that's a strange wish isn't it i've never had that one before i'm gonna have uh curtis try and meet some friends at school because you know he is a little bit lonely i'm sure that he has no friends <laughs> he's gotta have some friends come on oh he just got a wit uh she just completed a wish actually i don't know what it was quite interesting i'm gonna have her come over and feed her little brother oh she has stylist work to do let's go they want new formal wear Ooh, i don't know if we've ever done new formal wear all right let's have her head over to the salon and we'll have her go and work oh did someone cancel out their wish because now we don't oh there we go it like respawned there for a second all right so let's have her go over to the salon i wonder who our client could be maybe it's someone we're oh knickknack is it knickknack or is it no it can't be tim oh is it clay is it clay that wants it maybe it's clay which is anna's husband by the way um perform job oh it is clay okay okay so let's go and offer a makeover to clay who we kind of know the idea of a tie has always baffled me it's just a strip of fabric hanging from a shirt and yet considered fashionable huh anyway i digress i'd really like a new formal outfit okay so that's all he wants is a new form oh my god what is this outfit this is what you got married to ayana in that's literally what i'd say to him if i was isabel i'd be like bitch you got married in this outfit and you got married to my sister-in-law in with this outfit like what even um he is is he a good looking sim i just am wondering like how how are his babies with ayana gonna look because ayana she's like average looking like she's average to pretty is what i'd <laughs> is what i'd give her um is there no suit hello there's no suit the closest thing to a suit we have is this i mean i guess he's already married so it really doesn't matter what he wears uh and we're also not gonna see his wedding because obviously he's already married to ayana so i don't think glasses look very good on him i'm gonna take off his makeup because i can see he has makeup on um so we'll just take away that thank you okay now he looks just like a normal guy all right well there's his new formal outfit hope you enjoyed it <laughs> it literally took me like 0.2 seconds to do I mean, at least it doesn't look as messy as the, the fucking getup that he had on. The thing he was wearing before, he looked like a fucking pimp. He really did look- Oh, he doesn't like it. Oh, he's upset. Ooh. Isabel needs to keep styling and gaining job experience to increase her chances of a successful makeover. Hey, I did my best work. This is my best work. Alright, now he's just like heading home. Alright, well, nice me meeting you. I'm sorry it was on a bad, bad foot, but that's okay. We're gonna have her go back home. Uh, it looks like Michael is finally up and his wife is still fast asleep. How adorable. How freaking adorable. Um, I'm gonna have Kylie try and teach Riley how to walk because uh, Michael taught him how to talk and now he just needs to learn how to walk. He also has to be potty trained. He's watching some TV right now. I love that. Oh my gosh. No one's even like supervising him. He could literally be watching the worst stuff in the world, but apparently no one even cares, but okay whatever i mean isabel can come over and watch some with him i guess Here she is in her little work attire deliver a common relic we do need to go to egypt actually no we don't need to go with egypt to this with this household because we will not be able to afford it we do however need to go to egypt with uh soon because she has a wish to do so so we will definitely have her do that eventually i'm waiting i don't actually know what i'm waiting for i know that soon is pregnant so i don't think she's able to travel while pregnant i just don't think that the game will let you do that because 
I don't think the game will let you have a baby in a different country. I don't think that's how it works. So whatever. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. The next episode, we will have Isabel's wedding, which will be very, very exciting. It will not take place on a weekend, unfortunately. So we're going to have to have everyone take like a few days off work. Um, Curtis is probably going to have to skip school, unfortunately, unless we throw it after 3 p.m i do want him to be at his parents wedding um so we might throw it literally at 3 p.m because that seems to be the only time like doesn't the game punish you if you have your sims skip school or something i don't exactly know how it works all right anyway guys i'm gonna end this episode on that note i hope you did enjoy i had a lot of fun playing the wolf household i feel like there's just so much to do there's just so much stuff to do when we play this household like we always are trying to grind for money and our sims are like trying to advance in their careers i mean they are pretty high up like he's level eight kylie's level seven so always stuff to do in this household and i really look forward to playing it every time i do so anyway thank you guys all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and peace out